As you're using KubeVert more and more, and if you're not familiar with KubeVert, I do have a video on it. It's going to be in the description. It's pretty much a way to run virtual machines on Kubernetes. No, you're not running pods or containers as virtual machines. It's actually a virtual machine resource. But before we can get virtual machines deployed, we're going to need some type of ISO. So maybe it's a Windows Server ISO or an Ubuntu ISO or another operating system that we ultimately want to be able to use inside of a virtual machine. I'm going to show you how to do it with CDI, which is the Containerized Data Importer. Prerequisite here is going to be the Containerized Data Importer or CDI. And pretty much what we're going to use this for is the ability to upload an ISO to a persistent volume on Kubernetes. Go ahead, bring that down here. All right, we're going to need our Windows Server ISO so you can download it as a free trial for, I believe, six months or if you already have one, that's great as well. And then you're going to need Vert CTL. So you're going to install that and we're going to use that in a second here. OK, so from the ISO tab here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a port forward on the CDI. The reason why is because. We need the ability to upload to it and there's no load balance or anything as the service, which we don't need that anyways, to be honest, a port forward is totally fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use vert CTL, the image upload command. I'm going to specify my windows server ISO, the ISO HD, the size I'm running in Azure right now. So I'm going to use Azure file premium as a storage class, the upload URL, which is CDI where we're doing the port forward. Go ahead and copy that. I'm actually going to CD into downloads because that's where the ISO is. Go ahead and run this command. All right, it's going to create the PVC and do its thing. Now, really quick, what I just want to showcase here is kubectl get sc. I am using the Azure file premium and the volume binding mode is immediate. You're going to want to use that because the volume is going to need to be created as the ISO is being uploaded. So you're not going to want to use something like wait for a consumer because we're not connecting it to a pod or anything like that. It's literally just going to be created on the fly for the ISO. All right. And once the PVC is created, notice here how we're going to have an upload. Now my upload speed is clearly not great because it's saying it's going to take 18 minutes. Hopefully it's not going to take 18 minutes, but we will see if it looks like it's going to take about the same for you. Feel free to grab a snack, coffee, and come on back once it's uploaded. All right, we are good to go. The ISO has been uploaded and you'll now be good to go to use that ISO in a virtual machine. So for example, if I just wanted to pop open Windows Server VM here that I have available and I scroll down, notice how I have a volume pointing to my ISO HD.